I'm from a small town, so you couldn't find someone who will string your racket. So my dad had a machine, he made one, and teach me how to do it, because he wasn't going to do it all the time. I do it since I'm 11, so it's, it's like, when you send it to someone, it's normal, you know, you, 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 you broke your, your strings and you know you have to take it somewhere. Well, I know I have to, I have to do it. I do it in my free time. I can just think about string the racket and nothing else. And my machine is quite basic. It's not an automatic, it's just small. You put the, the strings on the racket and I just make, put the tension, whatever you want. Um, that's it. It's just about knowing where where the string goes more more than anything. I use 50 pounds. If I play in high altitude, I'll pull a little bit more. It's just a few minutes. If I'm lazy, it will be like 50 minutes. Otherwise, 10 to 12. It's normal, you know. It's something that I I'll do every day. Once. I was bored. There were some players who, who needed it because the stringer was pretty full, so I did it. But actually, I like to do my, my racket, but no more than that, you know. This is the most important part. I like it because I know that the tension will be always the same. It's the same machine, you know. When you travel to different places, it's always different, you know. I don't mind doing it, you know. It's not something that I'm forced to do it. So as long as it keeps that way, I probably I can travel a few, for a few more years with it. I'll see it with the time. This is it. It's not so bad, eh? What do you think? Would you try? <laughs>